Hey, it's Jang here from RCmania.com and Ultimate RC. And this is the Airhogs Tron Legacy RC Light Cycle. This is a zero gravity series vehicle, which means it'll go on walls and even on ceilings. And it's a really good looking model considering that it is uh, made into RC and nothing actually like it in real life could exist the way that it's designed. It's purely a fantasy vehicle. It's a little bit on the wide side, but they needed to do that in order to fit all of the RC components into it. It has this, uh, what they call a, a light trail emitter on the back, which is really just a light that shines a little bit of a line of light onto the ground, just an LED. Uh, it's a very lightweight uh, vehicle, but like I said, underneath, it's just a zero gravity series vehicle from Airhawks. And they've done these before and I've tested them, so be sure to check out the zero gravity micro and nano reviews that I've done at RC Mania. It's got a fan inside that just sucks out all the air from underneath, creates a vacuum under the vehicle. And then for propulsion, it has these two skinny little but high traction silicone capped tires on the sides. Just one on each side is all that it needs. When both tires go in the same direction, the vehicle moves forward or backward. When they move at different speeds or opposite of each other, then it turns. Now, let's look at the controller. It's an infrared controller, not radio, and it's just a regular setup with your forward backward on the left, turning on the right. There are two buttons to adjust the trim if it doesn't go straight. And like most products in the Airhogs series of vehicles and aircraft, this one has a charging port built right into the controller. You hook that directly into the port on the bottom of the light cycle itself and you flip a switch and it starts to charge up the rechargeable battery that's inside of the light cycle. The red light means it's charging and once both lights start flashing that means you're ready to go. Wait, what's going on here? It's on, wheels turn. Now this is a linoleum floor. This is about the smoothest surface that you'll find in a real life environment. See, it just keeps getting stuck on even the smallest little bumps. That was the best drive that I had the entire time I was testing it. Well, I say it'll go on walls, so let's try it there. That fan inside is uh, kind of loud, but that's the vacuum motor. And there you can see tables. This is the wall. It does stick to the wall, but it doesn't drive very well. Pretty much the same story as I had on regular flat ground. It's trying to go, but it just doesn't have the traction. Now this is the exact same surface that I tested the Airhog Zero Gravity Micro on and also the Zero Gravity Nano, their regular car based vehicles. And both of those did okay, especially the Micro. Well, let's try it upside down on the ceiling. Again, it's just getting stuck. 
Now this is a smoother ceiling than most people have in their homes or in their office. There's no texturing on here and it's painted with semi-gloss paint. Really smooth and all the other Airhog Zero Gravity vehicles have done just fine on this ceiling. This is embarrassing. All right, that was painful to watch, but if you're still interested in this vehicle, I really want you to check out all that I had to say about it in the full-on review at rcmania.com.